Good morning. It's good to see you. I'm here from the Richmond Art Center and I'm really excited to share more art with you today. So today we're going to work with boxes. I don't know about you, but I have a ton of boxes. Seems like right now there's a lot collected at my house. So that's what we're going to do today is work with this fabulous recycled material boxes. So I hope that, just like last time, you'll clear a space for you to work so you have plenty of room and that you find a place that's quiet and comfortable to do that and that you have um, some kind of older person who might be able to help you um, today so that we can get going on making art today. Here's what you're going to need to find boxes, tape, Scissors, paint and a brush if you have it, pens, crayons, rubber bands, toothpicks, paper clips, anything that you might find that will inspire you so we can make some art. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to shrug our shoulders and hold our breath and squeeze, scrunch your face up and then release. Take another big breath and scrunch. And release. Ugh. And scrunch. And release. Now let's wake up those hands. Let's wake up these knees. Now let's do the hula hoop. And then let's get our wiggles out. <laughs> we will wiggle all around. <laughs> 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 Shake those hands out. And then let's take a big breath. One more. One more. Let's put our hands on our heart and our belly. Close our eyes for a minute. Feel your feet on the ground. Whew. You can do that anytime. It's great just to get your body settled and get all that energy out so then you can focus. If you're at school and taking classes, with any class, you can do that and take a break. Good job. Hi again. I wanted to read you one of my favorite books. It's called Not a Box and it's by Antoinette Portis. And she's not only an illustrator, the person who makes this book with the words and the drawings. So I think it's an amazing book. And when the kids come to the art center, I always read this to them um, because it's inspiring about creativity. It turns something that seems like it has no value, a box, right? And turns it into something amazing. So we're gonna get to find out all about that. Are you ready? Oh my goodness, let's see. Okay. Why are you sitting in that box? Why are you sitting in that box? Can you think of maybe two or three things about why he might be sitting in that box? Hmm. All right, let's find out. <gasps> it's not a box. It's a race car. <laughs> Are you standing on that box? What do you think? Maybe it's a podium and he's speaking. Or maybe he's a, t I was thinking he could be a TV set with the ears. I don't know if there's still TV sets like that, but what do you think? <gasps> it's not a box, it's Rabbit Peak. Why are you squirting that box? Why? I was thinking maybe he's filling a, a, a swimming pool or watering a garden. Or what else could he be doing? Why don't you try to guess? There's no wrong answers. We get to use our creativity and our imagination. <gasps> oh, he's putting out a fire. One rabbit putting out a fire. Let's see. Now why are you wearing that box? It's 
that's not a box. <laughs> Have you ever made a costume out of a box? It's super fun. I suggest you try it. <gasps> He's scratching his head. Why are you standing around in that box? What do you think? Could he be standing around a box to be in a bathtub? Could he be standing around in a box to wait in line? Let's see. It's not, not, not a box. It's a hot air balloon. It's a tugboat. It's a pirate lookout. And it's an elephant. I've met some kids who've gotten to be um, in an elephant ride. I think that's pretty amazing. And then some kids I know have actually flown in a hot air balloon. Wow. I think that's very scary. But I might try it someday. Well, what is it then? You know what I want to tell you is, you can write your own storybooks like this. All you need is some paper and a pencil, and you can write all sorts of incredible imaginative stories just like this illustrator. So maybe you'll give that a try. So maybe they're peering out from a mailbox? Oh no, let's see. Hmm, let me think. Hmm, what's going on? What's he doing? <gasps> it's not a box. Off to the moon. So creative ideas can take you to so many places. All you have to do is use your imagination. <gasps> and you'll go really, really far. I thought it'd be fun to try to play a game. And you can play this game with anybody who happens to be around in your house. It's pretty fun. So just like Not A Box, where um, the rabbit got to change the box into so many things, you can use all sorts of things around your house and, ch and change them out. It's an improvisational game, which is also a lot like when we make art. It's another art form. So I have a brush. This brush is usually used for brushing off paper when you erase something when I'm doing my artwork. But what else could it be? Let's think. <gasps> it could be a hairbrush. It could be a ruffle on a shirt. It could be a mustache. It could be a telephone. It could be a knife. It could be... Hmm. I'm not sure. What do you think it could be? So you can play this game at home. Let's see. What else do I have? I have a pen. This is not a pen. This is also a mustache. It's a thermometer. What else could it be? Hmm. Could be a looking glass. What could be glasses? You get the idea, right? This is not a thermostat. It's a lookout glass piece. It's an oxygen mask. It's an elephant nose. All right. So why don't you try playing that game? Not a box. Improv game. It's very fun. You can sit in a circle and pass things around, and you'll get a lot of laughs. I know I do. So I hope you've gathered all your things so that we can get ready to make art. You can do this on your own but you can also do and share what you're learning with people you care about. So before we start, I'd like you to take the artist pledge. So remember our artist pledge from last time? I can make messes. Oh, put your hand up. I can make messes. I can make mistakes. But deep inside, I've got what it takes. I am an artist. Awesome. Okay, so let's get started making art.
chance to review, you can make fun things out of boxes. Like a house, a city, a park. Cut out figures. Now remember, you can play the improv game. Not a what? Use things around your house. Not a brush, not a pen. Walk it with your drawings and your writings. Maybe it's about your favorite food or a friend you like or something you like to play. I don't know. And then last but not least, make a costume. This is my model right here, Rosie. She's very Richmond. And she's got a costume on. I'm not sure what it is, but maybe it's a superpower car. So make a costume. So there's so many wonderful things you can do. It makes my head spin. So I hope that you've had as much fun as I have. And while I say goodbye this time, I'll give you a little tour of my studio where I work. So you'll know where I am. This is one of my new paintings here. I look forward to seeing you soon. And remember, make lots of art and share it with your friends and family. Bye.